my fellow New Yorkers, in this country, we must always protect the right to free speech. But I have a moral obligation to speak out when the messages that some New Yorkers are sharing go beyond the pale. Yesterday, outside an exhibit in Lower Manhattan commemorating those massacred at the Nova Music Festival on October 7th, protesters waved Hezbollah and Hamas flags. At other protests, they carried banners reading, Long live October 7th. And one person even yelled, he wishes, a quote, Hitler was still here. He would have wiped all of you out. These are reprehensible and vile comments. I and every New Yorker who stands for peace stand united against them. I always speak up for what's right, and what we saw last night was wrong. Let's not forget on October 7th, tens of thousands gathered at the Nova Festival in the spirit of peace, with hopes of a better future, one where Israelis and Palestinians live in brotherhood, connected but our shared humanity. Hamas then murdered more than 350 innocent men, women, and children at that festival. Part of their brutal terror attack on Israel, which killed, raped, and terrorized more than 1,000 and took hundreds more hostage. Earlier this year, I visited the exhibit of the horrors of October 7th through videos shot on that very day and memorialized the victims of that massacre. A day where innocent men, women, and children were slaughtered as they sang of peace. In the months since that gut-wrenching day, New Yorkers have made their voices heard. There have been nearly 3,000 protests in New York City since October 8th, more than 1,300 of which have been related to the war in Israel and Gaza. As I have said before, we will never allow our city to descend into lawlessness. We've kept New Yorkers safe at thousands of protests and celebrations, including at the Israeli Day Parade earlier this month. And those who break our laws will be arrested. Since October 8th, the NYPD has made more than 2,850 arrests at Israeli Gaza protests alone. Again, while peaceful protests will be allowed, New York City will never cower in the face of those trying to divide us. Hate has no place in our city.